channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today let's move to our entry going discussion on one of the most interesting topics in physics, kinetic energy versus potential energy with real life examples. To start our discussion, let's take a moment to define what kinetic energy and potential energy are. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object, while potential energy is the energy that is stored in an object due to its position relative to other objects or its own state. Let's explore more about it. What are the differences between kinetic energy and potential energy? Well, uh, to put it simply, kinetic energy is the energy that is associated with motion, while potential energy is the energy that is associated with the position or configuration of an object. Both forms of energy play a crucial role in our daily lives and have numerous applications in science and technology. So let's dive in into some real life examples of kinetic energy. One such example is a roller coaster ride. As a roller coaster starts moving, it gains kinetic energy which is transferred to the passengers increasing their adrenaline levels. As the ride progresses, the energy is continuously transferred from the cars to the passengers, giving them an exhilarating experience. Another example of kinetic energy can be a simple game of football. When a player kicks the ball, the ball gains kinetic energy that propels it forward. The ball's kinetic energy is then transferred to the other player's foot, who then kicks it again and the cycle continues. Now let's move on to the potential energy examples. One of the most popular examples of potential energy is a rock sitting on top of a hill. The rock has potential energy because of its position relative to the bottom of the hill. As soon as it starts rolling down the hill, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and the rock gains speed. This is an excellent example of the conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy. Another example of potential energy can be seen in the water stored behind a dam. The water is held up at a higher elevation, giving its potential energy. As soon as the gates of the dam are opened, the water falls down and potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, which is then used to turn turbines that generate electricity. But what if we could combine kinetic and potential energy in a single application? This is precisely what happens when you ride a bicycle. As you pedal the bike, you convert your own energy into kinetic energy, which propels you forward. But when you reach at the top of a hill and start coasting down, the potential energy that was stored in the bike and your body is converted to kinetic energy, which takes you down the hill without any additional pedal power. In conclusion, kinetic energy and potential energy are two contrasting yet equally fascinating forms of energy that plays a very important role in our daily lives. Whether it's a thrill of a roller coaster ride, the excitement of a football game, or the power of electricity generated by the dam water, these energies have multiple applications in science and technology. I hope this discussion has increased your curiosity and understanding of these two forms of energy. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.